is we're going to treat this cedar shake shingle that's totally infested with moss, mold, and mildew. One of the things, as you look at this roof, you'll see the green moss. There's mold up under the edges of the shingle, a lot of algae, and there's also a fungi and what they call lichen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and applicate now with my uh, formulated solution, which is specially formulated for this type of infestation. So once I do that, I want you to see just how prevalent the moss is because that solution is going to instantly start killing it because of the uh, formulation of it. So I'll spray that and you'll get a, an idea of just how infested this cedar shake shingle roof is. kill the moss, mold, and mildew, and fungi on this particular roof. As you remember earlier, we showed you some of the green moss. Now as you see the solution doing what it's designed to do, it's actually killing it. It's turning white. It's actually dying as we speak now. And it's also saturating all of the shingle. Because in this soft wash process, what we do is the spray is so low pressure that it allows a nice even spray on all over the shingle and it gets in between the cracks it actually gets up under them around them we need to kill all the bacteria that is the key to properly cleaning a roof anyone that just comes out and pray, sprays something up and kind of rinses it and walks away hasn't really done justice you need to really uh, apply this in a certain method you need to let it dwell for a certain amount of time and then you rinse it real good and every shingle needs to be rinsed. Every shingle needs to be washed. And then normally what I'll do is spray, uh, spray just a light coat on afterwards and leave it up there and let Mother Nature the next rain rinse it down because there's nothing in the solution that will hurt anything around here. It's not going to hurt your landscape in your home or anything else. It's designed specifically for this particular process. So what I'm going to do now is get up and give you an example of how we rinse a roof. You never ever use high pressure. We're going to use garden hose pressure. I'm going to take a simple garden hose and I'm going to get up there and I'm going to start rinsing all that moss, mold, mildew, and fungi and you'll see it as it runs down. It'll be pretty pretty thick. And uh, it's a laborious process. Part of the roof cleaning when we have a lot of mold like this and moss and mildew, especially the moss, it's pretty labor intensive but it has to be done carefully because you don't want to harm the shingles and that's the key. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now and let's see what it looks like.
solution won't bother you or anything. I handle it all day long. Specially formulated just for this particular process, but as you can see, this is all dead. And we'll knock off a lot of this dead lichen. That's what that is right there, is a double bacteria. It eats right into the shingle. I'm gonna knock all that off today. That's why the rest of this roof's probably gonna take maybe two hours. Uh, maybe two and a half, three hours to uh, actually clean this thing. But as you can see from here, and then if you pan in over on this side, you'll see a vast difference where all the moss is gone. And I did this in a rather speedy manner because of the demonstration. Normally I take a little more time. I'm going to rinse this again. I'm not done yet because as you may have noticed earlier, I sprayed it. I let it set. I rinsed it. sprayed the application, we got all the, all the moss and mildew and mold and what I did is I went up and I knocked it off as you can see now, it's gone. We totally eradicated it. I put another light spray of application on it just so that we can touch it up and make sure it can set up there. But see the difference between the before and now the after. So I just want to give you an example of what the result will look like. I've rinsed 95% of the dead moss off of there, but there are all the moss is dead, all the moss, mold, algae, fungi, and mildew. This is a roof we just uh, applied our solution, and we're letting it dwell so that we can kill all the moss, mold, algae, and mildew. As you can see, this is part of the roof that is to be clean today but uh, you can see if you get right up close here there's all the moss a lot of lichen on this roof it's a double bacteria a lot of mildew and this is the solution dwelling just applied it probably 15-20 minutes ago. We're going to go up and rinse it here shortly. That's what it looks like. As you can see there's some real heavy areas of moss. And of course that's the roof we're going to be cleaning here shortly this morning. Okay, let's show you the progression. As you know, we started out, the roof was in this condition. Then we applicated our solution, which is what it's doing now is dwelling. And then I came over here and I rinsed the section, just so I could show you what the after effect would be. As you may remember earlier, all of this was covered with moss and lichen. Now look at it. Like brand new. 20 year old shingles. Like brand new. You can see where I rinsed them all. All the lichen, moss, mold, mildew, algae, fungi is gone. Now watch as I progress over as you can see coming over into the areas where I still need to rinse. These are all areas that are going to be rinsed here in a little bit this morning. Which by the way is November 18th, 2011. A little chilly this morning. So that's the difference. That's what a 20 year old shingle after it's been cleaned looks like. That's what we try to achieve every roof cleaning we do. So, there's the before. And there's the application of the solution dwelling. And this is the after.